All right. So, just walking through Chinatown here. About to walk through this sketchiest neighborhood. East Hastings, where we delivered sandwiches. It's about one o'clock in the morning. I was watching some live music at a cafe with some good old friends. It's good to see them. I might be catching up with them tomorrow and the next day as well. Then heading back to Edmonton Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, depending on uh, the weather. It's been a little wet or snowy in the mountains. So, construction site. Um, so I might try to wait out the snow a little bit just so that it has time to melt and whatnot. And then, uh, yeah. So here we go through the sketch. So, sorry, I had to put the camera away real quick. It's basically, it's like walking through a construction zone and then boom, there's like hookers and crackheads and drug dealers and people living, walking on the streets seamlessly, like kind of like a zombie movie. Um, kind of got a little couple clips there at the end of all the tents and stuff like that and police cars everywhere. So this is where my car is parked. Uh, so hopefully nobody fucked with it. It's Friday night. So you never know. There's a little Japanese hall for Vancouver Japanese Language School. <clears throat> so it's really not a... I mean, I don't call it unsafe neighborhood. So I definitely don't feel unsafe. But I wouldn't want to. So there's somebody sleeping in their car too. Just like I am. <clears throat> you can tell because the windows are steamed up. And we got the shipping container apartment here. But, uh, yeah, hopefully my car is okay. But yeah, I don't feel, like I said, necessarily unsafe. Just when you're flashing things like cameras and stuff like that in the middle of the night. It's a different story. So here's the shipping container house again from the other day. Awesome. So stoked to see this stuff. Oh, there goes a rat. Don't see rats in Edmonton. That's one thing I'll give Edmonton. So they don't have rats. But honestly, I feel less safe in downtown Edmonton than I do here with the crazy amounts of things going on. Let's see if I can catch this rat running. Yeah, like I said, I don't feel unsafe. See, he's right in there. Oh, he's gone. So, I don't feel, yeah, I don't feel in danger at all, but at 1 o'clock in the morning when you start flashing cameras and cell phones and stuff like that, as you can see, I'm kind of uh, dressed in a hood, took my, took my glasses off, keep your head down if you're really worried, but like I said, I wouldn't worry too much in that neighborhood. Just don't flash shit during the day, you're safe for sure. There's so many people, it's like nothing can really go wrong. But you keep your head down, don't fuck with anyone, no one fucks with you. So my car is just down the street a little further. And I might pull ahead a little bit into a darker spot. With a little less light and hop in the back seat and run the car for a bit to warm it up and I'm good to go. Simple and plain. It's a radio station. I'm parked basically in front of a radio station. And it's free parking. It's really not that far from downtown Gastown, where I am every day. So I'm not too worried. So yeah, this is a radio station right here. So they do stuff like that. We're going to try to get in. We're going to email these guys and hopefully they'll uh, do a, a live interview with us. Cause that'd be cool. So life is good here in Vancouver. Not for everybody, but for people that uh, are willing to put their nose to the grindstone, 
get a job, work their ass off, you can definitely afford to do pretty much anything here. All right, I feel like I haven't actually talked to you guys in a while, or my camera. <laughs> um, been so busy with the Kickstarter and everything, everything's going really well. So we're excited to launch that probably this up and coming week. We're just trying to uh, get some publicity with like, uh, you know, ABC News and uh, Canadian television. Uh, we just hooked up with a pro cyclist and he's also won a few gold, or not gold, but he's medaled in cycling as well on the Olympics. And he's pretty stoked on the product by the sounds of it. So, everything is going good. Get your ass down to Vancouver. If you need some support, that's what we're here for. Honestly, I have nothing bad to say yet about Vancouver, other than, you know, a little bit of rain, but hey, it's better than freaking snow. Snow and cold, cold, it's like minus 20 or something in Edmonton right now. Oh, these lights are annoying. I'm a, I'm a light sleeper, so I like to uh, be in darkness and silence. So I'm going to pull right up to this guy behind me, and then it gets bright again. Ugh. So picky. So picky. The reason I'm doing that, so in the morning, that I don't have people parking on both sides of me, if because uh, I know this is a par popular spot for people that work downtown because it is free on this side of the street it costs money right there across this side don't tell me why or it doesn't cost money it's just a two-hour limit whereas here it's unlimited I'm thinking um, I really want to start doing some kind of like short story type movies like a little bit of more like acting because I feel like but I just feel like it'd be cool to have a little bit more purpose if I did some kind of story writing and uh, and just filmed like short stories, like even like five to ten minute movies, and uh, give that a shot. So I might start writing stuff for that, have some fun. Um, we were downtown the other day, handing out sandwiches on that street that we were at, talking with homeless people and everything. That's why I said, I'd, since Andrew took me down there, it's like you don't, I don't feel unsafe there at all. Even you know, tall white you know, good looking, blue eyed, uh, guy, clean cut, whatever, walking through the ghetto in any other city, even Edmonton, I feel a lot less safe than I do here, and I don't know if that's just because, like I said, I've been hanging out with these kind of people, hanging out, sort of speak, not really, but, uh, talking to them, meeting a few people on the streets, hanging out with Andrew, walking the dogs, the dogs are kind of a nice ice icebreaker. puts the the homeless and street people kind of in a good mood. Um, so it's great to do, really. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing right now, which is what matters. So I gotta plug my phone in to charge it for the night. I might turn some music on. Actually, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, just hope that nobody tries to break in my car while I'm sleeping in it. I'm going to go because I can't think of anything right this minute. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. As soon as I wake up, I'm going to head down to Birds, Birds and the Beats, which you've seen before as well. Uh, or Revolver. I don't like... Birds and the Beats doesn't have soy milk, so I give them a negative one for that. But uh, the atmosphere and everything is really good there. Um, but Revolver has soy milk, so I might walk the extra three or four blocks to get soy milk. Uh, but I don't know how their internet and plug-in situation is, so... Just things you gotta test out when you're in a new city. Oh, yeah, tonight I was watching... Li yeah, I already said that, live bands with old friends that I've known since elementary school. That moved here about four or five years ago. Uh, skateboarders, one actually designs skateboard parks for the entire planet. The other one's Electrician. They're both very good skateboarders. Um, I don't know who they're sponsored by or I'd give that, a, give them a shout out for that. Um, but just super stoked to fucking see those guys because uh, it's been a long time. 
we used to fucking spend every minute together. <laughs> And so, uh, I'm going to see one of them is actually a uh, like professional foosball player. And so, I'm going to see him tomorrow. Might play some foosball. And then another guy uh, the next day, because he's hanging out with his girlfriend tomorrow. Um, so, the next day after that, I'm going to uh, probably go hang out with him. And, yeah, just continue on. Uh, like I said, I might not be driving home quite yet, just because of the weather. Um, the only thing I really have waiting for me at home is like shoveling snow and, you know, checking the mail. So there's no real point in going home at this very moment, but I do need to go home eventually. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm like my dad's truck's not gonna start. So I'm gonna have to plug that into the battery charger and charge it for a few days before I can start it. Shovel a bit of snow. But judging, I can't, I didn't do the number the exact math yet, but it was like 150 bucks really for gas to get here, 12 hours of driving. Um, so there and back, you're talking 300 bucks. That's about the cost of a plane ticket. Actually, it's, it's cheaper than a plane ticket. It just takes you know a long time to, to do. It's like a half an hour, 45 minute flight or 12 hour drive over mountains and everything like that. Um, but the cost of it is pretty cheap overall. And then when you're here, you have a car, obviously, to sleep in, drive, get you around, store all your stuff. I've just kind of out, outdone my welcome here with the people that I'm staying with. So I don't want to intrude anymore. I'm going to have to do something special for, for Andrew and Nina. I just haven't figured it out what I'm going to do yet. That's it. Got to go to bed. Peace, guys. Have a good night. Hopefully you uh, like the videos lately. I'm having a really good time here and uh, trying to change the world one day at a time. That's all we can all do is just try to change the world, make the world a better place. Be the change you want to see in the world, as everyone always posts on the internet. The only thing I worry about here is the police. Hopefully they don't come along and kick me out of here, but we'll see what happens. I really need to get one of these camper vans like that's driving by right now. Oh, that's an actual, uh, you know, on the call, yeah. No, that's some kind of a police truck. I wonder what that was. Well, hopefully he doesn't come back. Because <laughs> I want to go to bed. I'll give him a few minutes. Alright, good night.